build your faith with the word, through the word of God, the knowledge of God, and the testimonies of his acts. Build your faith in God. Before you sleep tonight, ask God to give you, even if it is one verse. Let me say, say this to you. Any area where you have a challenge is an opportunity to build your faith. Any area. For example, they sat on your promotion in the office. Begin to look for scriptures that guarantee your position. Promotion coming not from the east, not from the west, but from the Lord. Who put down one and set up another? You shall be the head and not the tail. You know, just begin to just let the devil assist you to succeed in faith. Everything he wants to use against you, use it to take off. Any single thing. You are getting easily tired. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Let me locate scriptures that guarantee me strength. My night, my sleep is interrupted with nightmares. I will sit up and locate reasons why I, I must not have even one night nightmare. He gave it his beloved sleep. Am I communicating at all? Every confrontation is an opportunity to build your faith. Every enemy challenge is a ladder to rise. Didn't David rise from Goliath? That is, you don't know where to study the Bible. Ask yourself, which area is the devil trying to trouble me? <laughs> Maybe even another person's challenge. I need light to deal with this for these people. Somebody say aloud, amen. Yeah. If you do what I'm saying, eh, you may come to a point where you have three study areas to study at the same time and you don't know which one to face. There are times in my revelation diary I will be writing and then I haven't finished this light. Yet something urgent comes up for me to attend to so I leave some pages vacant to return back to you. And then push this forward and then return back. One of those returns happened for me today. And then very very heavy light anybody can do anything for you but nobody can eat for you it is a personal responsibility to accept people can pray for you nobody can feed for you in the area where you need to handle issues locate see this listen while you are awake jot when you, when you are true plug some in your ear and sleep let it be playing if the volume is too much to make you sleep reduce it the psalmist said I sleep but my heart awaketh the spirit of man does not sleep let some things pass in in your subconscious realm. Let them reply in their subconscious dimension. Is God speaking to somebody here at all? That is the word. The knowledge of God. Let your prayer never fail. After 33 years, Paul said that I may know him. Lord, may I know. Show me the part of you I don't know yet. Show me your dimension that I am not acquainted with. It. 
It will ruggedize you. You will just shift level. I told you one day, we we're still in area one. One night, I had an encounter in which the Lord showed me an angel. That angel was taller than the area one building. Taller, much taller. Heavy. That is combined like 10 men together. That may be the size of his chest. His hands were high arm. He had a little knife. If he does like this, a thousand people can die at once. Very. He's almost quick tempered. It lacks patience. Uh, I am just saying it because of the way I, 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 I saw, saw him and I sensed him. That is, offend him small, you are gone. <laughs> and, and, and the Lord said to me, that was the angel that was in the ministry. He mentioned an ancient apostle that was very brutal. He said, that angel was relevant in his ministry. Then he said other things that I may not say now. Do you understand? That when God encounters you, that showing you all that is the dimension of revealing who he is. It's like, see the kind of servant I have. These are people that run errand for me. And you are serving the me who they run for. It just shifts you. Lord, help me to know you. Help me to know you. Like I haven't known before. And of course, place a high premium on testimonies. Even in your own life. That one day, I wrote down the number of times that I have escaped near death situations. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wrote them down. Including face to face with gone people. That will be up to twice or, or so. The number of times when I looked at it, yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, all these times are not accidental. The devil that couldn't succeed here cannot succeed forever. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. Papa Yedek was saying sometime he was in the room. Death came for him. It, they, everywhere was turning as if life was going out of him. He was in the Lauren then. He just preached on, on victory over death. And then the death came and said, who are you to preach such a message? This was like in the early 80s. House was turning. Everything was turning. He was. Life was going. Then he heard the voice of the spirit say, what are you doing here? He said, me, myself, I don't know. He stood up from the bed, carried his car key, entered the car and said, devil, I am traveling to Kaduna now. If you are a devil enough, let's go. <laughs> He's about to kill you in the room and then you are going on the road. Ay, 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 ay. Mendel. 